throughout Roblox's history, big hackings have happened, most notably the 2012 April Fool's hacking incident. With all being said, there have also been people who have been speculated to be exploiters throughout Roblox history that turned out to be false. In today's video, we'll be looking at the two most notable examples. First up, we have the infamous 1x, 1x, 1x1. From my research, this is one of the most oldest rumors spreading around a supposed exploiter. But in 2011, Mr. Doombringer, a former Super Mario Raider, released a post on the Roblox forums disputing these claims, telling where the name comes from and why people think he's a hacker. In the explanation on where the name comes from, he says that Talman posted a number of stories about Roblox's backstory to the news. One of these included mentions of 2 times 2 the first block, copied over and over. Every other block were its descendants. Then, in a footnote, he mentions the evil 1x, 1x, 1x1. And for the explanation for why people say slash believe that he's a hacker, he states, a guy whose name is long forgotten found an exploit to insert control scripts into online places. He sent me a message telling me he had something to demonstrate, and when he joined the game, it started raining heads saying things along the lines of, he's coming back and 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is coming for you. And apparently, people in the server freaked out, I found it hilarious, he gave me the instructions on how it works and I reported to the devs. So, as we can see, the official truth of this supposed hacker isn't as interesting coming from someone showing him an exploit they found in a footnote in some Roblox lore, but that didn't stop Roblox YouTubers from talking about it in 2017. Nowadays, the rumor has died out, although Roblox has made Easter eggs and items directed towards 1x, 1x, 1x1, like the teapot from Ready Player 2 and putting secret symbols in Ready Player 2, Bloxy Awards, and Metaverse Champions. Next up, we have John and Jane Doe. Along with 1x, 1x, 1x1, popular Roblox YouTubers started to spread information that the accounts John and Jane Doe were going to hack Roblox on March 18th, 2017. And while some people were trying to disprove this, the fact that many other suspected hackers were friends with John Doe and them having strange badges as well didn't really help the situation. But on March 21st, 2017, Roblox finally revealed the truth about these accounts on a blog post. They stated that the accounts were created by David and Eric in the early days of Roblox for testing purposes, and the names of the accounts were chosen as they did not belong to any one player. As such, they were given the placeholder names John Doe and Jane Doe. For people who do not know, John and Jane Doe are common multiple use names that are used when the true name of a person is unknown or being intentionally concealed. Now, you may be asking, what about the people they friended or the weird badges they also have? Well, Roblox answered that by stating, a few years ago, we observed that some players could add John and Jane Doe to their friends and followers list on Roblox or award these test accounts with badges. And in the following weeks, we would be clearing out both accounts from any friends or badges that were added involuntarily. The rumor somewhat re-sparked earlier in May to the John Doe account appearing to be active on the website. Although it's commonly accepted, it was simply to private the inventory of the account. This is due to a t-shirt being uploaded to the account by someone explaining an API issue. Though, Jane Doe's inventory is still public and states that the account has been last online 15 years ago since no t-shirts were uploaded to it. Unlike 1x, 1x, 1x1, Roblox hasn't really mentioned either John or Jane Doe since then. I know at the start of the video, I say there will only be two notable supposed hackers, but after remembering guest 666, 
I couldn't resist adding him into the video. Anyways, guest 666 was supposedly a guest account who had admin commands in any game they joined, regardless if the game had admin system or not. And if the player hovered their mouse over the guest when viewing game servers, the name would appear as an evil guest instead of the usual a friendly guest. Although unlike 1x1x1x1 or John and Jane Doe, it didn't take a form post by a super moderator or a blog post to disprove this supposed guest hacker. It was found out that all that had to be done to get the guest 666 name was to use a browser extension to edit cookies which will allow you to change your guest ID. And by October 2017, the entire conspiracy was basically killed after Roblox announced the removal of guests. Although I know there are many more smaller examples of fake supposed hackers, these are from my research two of the most notable supposed Roblox hackers. But if you want to see part two, comment below any more notable supposed Roblox hackers. Anyways, you guys know the drill. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, check out my Twitter and official Discord server, and suggest any Roblox or aviation topics in the comments below. Well, I'll see you next time. Good night.